We've been coming to you from Odessa, Texas, and while this area is largely known for its energy production, the other big popular pastime here, football. Just a couple of miles from where I stand is where you'll find Permian High School, home of the Panthers, who cemented their legacy with so many wins, they were made famous in Friday Night Lights. And as the country gets back into the football groove, our next guest is no stranger to the gridiron, making her story in the NFL. Shannon Easton is a former NFL referee and the first woman to ever do it. Though officiating in the NFL has been a lifelong dream of hers, nothing could fully prepare her for the road ahead. In Easton's new memoir, Lady Ref, Making Calls in a Man's World, the former official candidly shares the obstacles she faced during her journey. Shannon's inspiring story details the hard work, sacrifice, and fight to make it in the male-dominated world of sports. And Shannon is kind enough to join us now. Now, thank you so much for being here. You are the first woman official. Uh, you became an NFL referee back in 2012. What made you decide that 10 years later, you're going to tell your story? I felt it was a story that needed to be shared. It is something that I believe can inspire women that coming after me. And I just wanted women and really anybody to know that dreaming big is something that they don't need to be afraid to do. And what was that process like for you as you were rising up through the ranks with the NFL? It was a challenging process. It was long. I started at the, the lowest level, youth football, worked my way to junior college. And then when I had the opportunity in 2012, got the email asking if I'd be interested in working, I felt that the timing for me was perfect and it was the right time to make the move and to just do what I came to do. In your book, you describe experiences with sexual harassment, sabotage, and misogyny within your NFL career. How did you keep the motivation to keep on going despite all the odds stacked against you? A couple things. Number one, faith in God definitely helped me to persevere through a lot of things. And then just the wonderful people that were supporting me. Yeah, there was, of course, going to be some challenges some people that were fighting against me, but I always say for every person that says, no, you can't, just surround yourself with three or four or five people that say you can. And the support I had, I, w I couldn't have been more blessed with the people that were surrounding me. Always got to find those people who are Absolutely. in your corner and can say yes. They're really yes. good advice for uh, people in all different walks of life. Uh, you mentioned that after you were grabbed by a coach, you cemented your authority. You wrote, I stayed true to myself and to the rules and did what I've always done. I remained calm and professional and did my job as if none of the hostile actions had taken place. You coined the term good presence. What does that mean to you? Good presence is something that you really can't teach in an official. You either have it or you don't. And it's a presence that borderlines on cocky, but doesn't quite cross that line. And that presence helps people to know that you are in a state of calm and cool, that no matter what happens, you're in control and you are gonna remain professional. Why did you ultimately decide to leave the NFL? It wasn't my decision to leave the NFL. When the officials came back, we were all let go. And through many circumstances, which you can definitely read about in the book, why I wasn't asked back. My support team, one by one, uh, left my corner, so to speak. Things just kind of fell apart for me in terms of making my road back to the NFL. What's your message to readers, and especially to women uh, who work in male-dominated fields? Simply put, dream big, please work hard. You know, the doors have swung wide open for women, but that doesn't mean that you don't have to work hard. You still have to work hard. So dream big, work hard, and most importantly, trust God. Some good advice there. Shannon Easton, we thank you so much. Shannon's book, Lady Ref, Making Calls in a Man's World, is now available wherever books are sold. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.